welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the channel. We are standing here in the car wash because we did not do an intro or an outro down at the lake. So what we're going to do tonight is we're going to go down to Lake Linville and we're going to be uh, fishing on the 4th of July. That's the night of the 4th of July. I got my Lunkers TV Freedom Bird shirt on, you know, representing the uh, American Freedom on the 4th. Guys, we're going to go down to this lake and we're going to try to fish and catch us some fish. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and we'll see you back right here in this car wash in just a little bit. Tricked him. That little bitty fella. Get up here in the light so y'all can see. First little bass of the night. 12 incher. Release him there. Throw a little swim bait with a swim jig with swim bait tied to it. Nothing fancy. Might end up tying us like a whopper plopper or something on. Not sure yet. Which we ain't been fishing very long, so. never know. We're fishing right at the boat launch down here at Linville on the night of the 4th. That's why it's nothing but darkness. That's it. That's all we're fishing with. Over there's another gentleman fishing. He just caught him a fish here just a little bit ago. A mud turtle. See so at the surface. <laughs> He'll pull you in there. Nah, -uh. nah. -uh. All right, all right. As you can see, we moved sides. We're over here on the normal dock that we fish now. And uh, I just had one hit my bait literally right here at the dock. I guess that's where the uh, figure eight deal comes in when you reel it up all the way to your boat or dock bank, whatever you're at. You want to make sure that you stop and do that. And if I would have done that, I probably would have got that fish, and uh, I, well, I didn't. And there he is. He's he right there at it again. I kid you not. I know you can't see it, but he's like right there. He come up twice. That's the second time he's come up to that bait thinking about going over there and getting my wacky rig dropping down there see if something a little bit less moving will cause him to to bite and it's just a simple wacky rig I got this the ring on it there we get over here in the light where you can see Still can't see it, but got the ring on it. Weigh this wacky, real small bullet weight, unpegged. And that's what we're gonna pitch out here and see if he's still around. Two times he come up there at the edge of the dock, bumped it, and that was it.
hopefully we'll get on us another fish or three so just having one for fourth of july hopefully we'll get us four of them That'd be a good number I'll throw it out there a little deeper throw it out there a little further and let her sink down the bullet weight I got on there the only reason I put a bullet weight on the wacky rig I like fishing them weightless but I'm having to use my bait caster for the for the setup because my spinning reel at the moment I still haven't put line on it pretty slacking slacking bad I was getting a bite there is he still on it oh yeah he's still on it he's a little guy no monster <laughs> number two in the books look at this hog god almighty that is a monster get my pliers out here because he's a little I can't get my fingers down in his mouth to get that hook out Oh, guys, look at that monster. Look at him. Would you just look at him? Beautiful little fish. He'll grow up to be a stud one day. Little guy, you get out of here and you grow up and be a big one one day. And we will catch you again. Number two in the books. Uh, fish in the old wacky rig. And the, uh, the little band on this thing. If you don't know what the little band does, it really holds your bait on there. Now, like I said, this is a weedless wacky, and it'll probably end up being broke off, but it holds pretty daggum good to your bait. All right, all right, ladies and gents. We switched it up to the bone-colored Whopper Plopper size 90F, if you want to know. And we also tied on a white swim bait. Uh, it's not a Kai Tech. It's a Strike King, I believe. A solid white swim bait on a swim bait hook with a little bit of weight, VMC belly weight on it. It's a VMC hook, so what have you. The reason we're using white is... One, it's easier for me to see out there. And uh, two, I've had better luck out of this one than any of them. I do have a midnight one, uh, same size, 90F Whopper Plopper that I could have tied on. But I figured I would use this one instead. Now the white swim bait, the reason I tied it on is because uh, the first fish we caught over here at the, dock, or at the loading ramp was on a white swim bait so why not try it right but we're throwing this whopper plopper we're going to throw it for a little little jag see what we can get with it oh there's one oh, oh he is jammed jammed look at how little this little guy is Dang, dang, my friend. Now you calm down now, and we'll get you unhooked. Don't get all crazy. Ah. Look at the size of this little fish. Can you guys literally see that? Let me get a good look at it. Look at him. This little bitty dude grabbed. A size 90F Whopper Plopper. Let me get some of the... Let me get this up here. Look at that. You're awesome, little man. Get back out there. Get back out there and get big. Woo! Come back. Get some of that. 90F Whopper Plopper coming in there. That little dude was hungry. 
I come up on the dock because I was going to fish this side, which I have been, with no luck, other than throwing my bait on top of a pontoon, which I didn't mess the pontoon up or nothing. I think I'm on it again. Or is that fish? That might be a fish. <laughs> ah, yes, come in here, you. Woo! Little dinker, number four. Right in the roof of the mouth. Little Kentucky spot. Get him out of there. Little swim bait. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Whatsoever. Little swim bait. Let me turn around here. Little Kentucky. Little spot. Yeah, I hear you. Go get bigger. Guys, there you go. Hope you enjoyed that video. We, uh, we ended up catching four fish on kind of four different baits, if you kind of want to call it that. The, uh, the first bait that we caught it on was a, it was actually a swim jig, but the swim jig uh, that we was using, the skirt actually broke off of it when I was down at the creek fishing a while back, and I just throwed a swim bait on it, and it, it works. So we caught that on the swim jig-ish, and then the uh, second one, what was it? We caught it on a wacky rig uh, Cinco. Third fish came on bone colored whopper plopper, which was like super unexpected because I figured that uh, that it'd be a lot bigger fish than that, but it wasn't. It was a super small fish on a big old bait. And then the final fourth fish that we did not catch, we didn't catch the third or the fourth fish uh, in time to be on the fourth, so it was on the fifth. But hey, who, who's worried about it? The fourth fish came on the white swim bait the actual swim bait itself not a rigged up one that i made so guys hope you enjoyed this little video uh freedom fishing as you want to call it if that's what you want to call it fourth of july guys happy late fourth of july hope you guys were safe and had an awesome time with your friends and family on this day the reason i didn't do an intro or an outro down at the lake is because I thought there was going to be like a lot of people down there because it's been, you know, the 4th of July weekend. Uh, tonight, there wasn't very many. There was the one guy there on the dock. Uh, he was super cool. He was uh, talking to me and stuff. So I could have done one there. I told him if, I was, if he heard me talking to myself, I went crazy. I was talking to the camera. And he's like, I don't have a camera and I still talk to myself. But anyways, that is why I didn't do an intro at the lake. Now, the outro situation... I was there on the dock, as you see me last on the dock there, uh, closest to the wood line. And they were something wrestling around up there in the woods, and it didn't sound like no squirrel or possum, boys. This sounded big. So it could have been like a chupacabra, zombie, a black bear. I mean, it could have been something. Kendall Gray, I don't know. And I'm not real good at night stuff you know i don't like being out in the woods and coon hunting and all that good stuff you guys if you're coon hunters utmost respect because you're brave souls but there was something in those woods that was resting around and it could have been a deer i don't know i wasn't going to go over there and check it out and see what it was so i just loaded up my junk and left and that's why you're getting an outro and intro both in this car wash guys thanks for watching we love each and every one of you and thanks for uh for all the subscribers that subscribed here lately i hope if you're watching this that you subscribe if you're not already and there's more to come thanks for watching we love each and every one of you and we will see you guys on the next video